If you're thinking about buying a cycling helmet but you're not sure which one to go for or what to look for, then this is the video for you. I'm going to run you through my top tips and recommendations so that you're left feeling safe, secure and protected. There are many styles of helmet available, but generally they tend to boil down to road, commuter and leisure models. Now, road helmets tend to be lighter and have a lot of ventilation and they're made for people that want to go as fast as possible on the road while staying as cool as possible. Aero road bike helmets, on the other hand, they tend to be more covered up because they're for people that really want to go as fast as possible at the cost of some ventilation. The vents on road bike helmets tend to be designed so that you can slide sunglasses into the top of them and it gives you another place to hold them if you don't need to wear them on your face. Commuter helmets will be heavier and more sturdy just so they can deal with that daily bump and grind of commuting to work. They may also have reflective strips and lights built into them for extra visibility, which personally I think is a really nice touch if you can find one with them on. Leisure models tend to be more affordable than their road counterparts and that's due to a simpler design. Now, they make a great option for those who don't ride day in and day out and aren't of a performance orientated mindset. Nearly every helmet will have some sort of retention system and this is to help you dial in the fit and the size. Now, in many cases, this is going to be in the form of a cradle that sits on the inside and is adjustable with this little wheel. Now, on higher end models, you can actually move the cradle up and down depending on how big your head is. Finding the right size helmet can be tricky, especially if you're shopping online, as a medium from one brand might be different to a medium from another. Helmets also vary in their size and shape, with some being more round and some being more oval. This all means you might have to go to a shop to experiment with a few different models to see what fits you best. In terms of how a helmet should fit, it shouldn't be rattling around, but at the same time, it shouldn't be so tight that it's digging into your skin. Now do remember, you do have that retention system so that you can make those fine adjustments to the sizing. The strap needs to be snug, but not too tight. The general rule of thumb is making sure that you can fit two fingers in between the strap and the bottom of your chin. You should be able to open your mouth and move your chin around without it feeling too restrictive. Finally, look for two fingers width between the top of your eyebrow line and the bottom of your helmet to ensure that the depth is correct. Again, it's always worth testing a few brands to find out what's right for you because at the end of the day, all of our heads are different shapes and sizes. If you're buying a helmet from a reputable shop, then all of those helmets will be meeting a minimum safety standard, so you can be confident that whatever you're buying will protect you. However, higher-end models may include some extra safety features. A prime example of this is MIPS, otherwise known as Multi-Directional Impact Protection System. This thin cradle and the inside of the helmet is designed to reduce rotational forces by moving a little on impact. As I've already mentioned, some road and commuter models may feature built-in reflective strips and LED lighting, which will increase your visibility to other road users. When it comes to pricing, you can find a safe cycling helmet anywhere from the region of £25 up all the way to £200 plus. Now, while expensive cycling helmets may not be any safer, they will include more of those premium features we've already discussed in this video. For example, a top spec helmet might be lighter, have a more refined retention system, have comfier straps, have MIPS or potentially built-in lights. So hopefully you've got all the knowledge you need now to go out and buy your next cycling helmet. If you've got any questions, just drop them down in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, drop it a like, subscribe to the channel for more content, and I'll see you again very soon.